subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel that comes closest here to me is the iphone 10 out of all these shots now it did make it a little bit sharper than the dslr but in terms of the color science and things like that it looks very close to the canon so i choose the iphone 10 here in my opinion next up here we're looking at this dead end sign and the montrose harbor sign and here i actually prefer the galaxy s9 plus's photo i think it comes very nicely close to that dslr photo and i just like the overall color on that picture here the p20 pro is a little bit too saturated and the iphone 10 is a little bit dull here and the pixel 2 xl is kind of in between so it's okay but the s9 plus here for me next up we're taking a look at the color in this beautiful tree that i was sitting on a bench and i just happened to take a photo and you could see on the slr photo very well represents the reality and i think the s9 plus gets pretty close to that aps-c photo here the p20 pro oversaturating once again and the 2xl and the iphone 10 are rather close but here i would choose the galaxy s9 plus now i'm going to flip them around a little bit here and here is the front facing portrait mode you can see the pixel 2xl has the most detail and probably the best blur here the s9 plus too soft i don't really like it too much the iphone 10 is very nice here and the p20 pro is just off here so i would choose probably the iphone 10 in this photo but if i wanted the most detail i would go with the 2xl so it's pretty close there. I didn't do a selfie on the SLR because it's the same lens no matter if you flip the screen around or not. Now in this photo, I focused in on that garbage can. The 10 just looks ultra dull. I would not take this photo here. The 2XL is actually closest to what it looked like in real life. The S9 Plus punched up the brightness. The P20 Pro oversaturated a little bit, made it very vibrant, but some people might prefer that for Instagram photos. An APS-C DSLR was kind of nice, but not quite accurate to represent reality. Now here on this photo, you can see we're looking at the shadows. We're looking at the Sky. The 2XL and the S9 Plus didn't do too well, I think, in the sky. The SLR is pretty close to reality. I think the P20 Pro and the iPhone 10 were the winners here, but the green just does not look real on the P20 Pro. So here, I think the iPhone 10 does take the best photo when it came to this regard. Unless you like the shadows, you would have liked the 2XL there. Now, in this macro close up, take a look at the SLR and take a look at the iPhone 10. The iPhone 10, I think, is closest to that SLR photo when it comes to the overall picture but the 2xl has very nice saturation here for this macro the s9 plus and the p20 pro are almost identical so those are pretty even but overall they all look just absolutely stunning here for these macro photos now here's a low light shot and i do have the night mode on the p20 pro the iphone 10 is the worst of all of them here the aps-c is closest to reality and i think the 2xl and the s9 plus are pretty close but there's a little bit more noise in the 2xl photo so i think the best low light photo here is the galaxy s9 plus the p20 pro and the iphone 10 don't have accurate color representation of what i actually seen so they don't win there although the p20 pro does tend to really boost the brightness of a photo it has a long exposure the iPhone 10 here does get close to the SLR again when it comes to this low light photo. So in this scenario with good lighting, the iPhone 10 accurately represents the nighttime shot very close to a Canon camera. The 2XL is a little wider than it really was. And the lens flaring on S9 Plus wasn't nice here, but the P20 Pro was pretty cool. So that's it. That's the comparison. What did you guys think? think comment your thoughts down below i came to a conclusion myself after comparing all of these cameras and that was that it doesn't really come down to the camera anymore because they're all very good yes some do excel in different areas but i think it's the features that are going to separate things in the cameras like the master ai in the p20 pro the excellent hdr processing in the Google Pixel 2 XL, or even the all-around package with the 4K 60 video that comes with the iPhone 10. Also, you can get that low-light photography on the Galaxy S9 Plus. So it comes down to other factors when deciding to buy a smartphone, and all of these phone manufacturers are gonna state on their website that they have the absolute best camera on a smartphone. I don't blame them, they're trying to sell their devices, but really, I think if you wanna choose one of these phones, choose the iPhone, if you love iOS and you want a really good all around camera choose the pixel 2 xl if you want the best selfies on a camera and you want the best dynamic range the shadows choose the p20 pro if you want the best zoom on a smartphone camera and the most sharp photos because it does a lot of sharpening 
choose the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus if you want some of the best low light photos you can get on a phone and the most feature packed camera as well. They got a ton of features in that camera and choose a DSLR if you want to do some serious photography and you want to change your lens out all the time. If you guys found this video helpful, enjoyable, entertaining, informing, do me a favor, click that like button for me. If you want to see more comparisons like this in the future, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. I'll catch you all on the next one. Be sure to subscribe for more. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well and peace.